everybody, Ben Myers back here, trying to get the audio working here for us. We're going to do another draft video. Uh, right now I'm saving up some resources so we can do some more constructed stuff. Uh, we're right on the brink, so hopefully next or later this week we'll be able to do that. Bring this down just a touch more. <laughs> All right, now we got to bring, there we go. Um, I'm feeling in a USA kind of mood today. Oh, we'll take the big fella right off the start. Okay, Uncle Sam isn't bad. I, the first Marines has always impressed me. So we'll take them first Marines here. A Hellcat is essentially a removal order. Corsair is also a problem for a lot of people to deal with, but I like a lower drop Hellcat, I think. Alright, we're going to go Team Germany in the number two spot because I'm working on an achievement, too. So, here, we're going to go Panzer IV. Panzer IV, always good. The Americans and the Germans like having the front line, though, but we'll try Panzer IV to start. Alright, we really need some low drops now. Uh, Dauntlesses can be a pain for a lot of decks to deal with, though, so we're going to take them. Hmm. The Corsair 4FU. 4FU. F4U. Um, he's usually. That 6 defense is a real deal. The Apache's not bad, but. I'm going to take the Corsair. Hmm. We need some low drops in this deck. All right, B25 lets you draw a card. So I'm going to take those B25s. Because in, in my world, in my mind, a gunship mission is worth a card. So, all right, we really need some low drops here. I think these pack 38s could work, though. Or do we want an 8th Cavalry Regiment? Supply chain just doesn't do it for me. I'm going to take these pack 38s. I think they. Uh, something in my mind is telling me that they can work. Alright, let's go with an Enigma to give us a little bit of card draw. Our deck is so top heavy right now, though, but we'll take an Enigma. We're on the lookout for low drops. Alright, uh, Reichsbank can help us get up to this 5 mark. Henschel. Eh. Alright, um. You deploy a unit, deal one day or two, which you can gain one credit. Huh. So, like, you can uh, kind of, like, spin out of control with this if you want. Um, Alright, let's go Henschel. I just need low stuff. We need low stuff. Alright. 12th Infantry Regiment isn't really a low drop. Apache isn't bad. 7th Regiment gives us some card draw, which we don't have either. So, let's take those 7th Regiments. Alright, Sherman's give us more card draw. I know there's a 506 here, but let's go Sherman's because it gives us a little more card draw. Alright, I think we go joint operations, one plus the number of unit types you control. Well, we have lots of different unit types. Alright, let's take a joint operation. Removal order of a little bit. Alright, tactical strike. Ooh, our Awoken Giant. Um, I think we'll take the Awoken Giants because we're going to be falling behind on the board a lot. Alright, give me a Thunderbolt. Let's see. Ooh, Stugs might work. We're really heavy on three, though. Um, I think we're going to go Howitzer instead. The 11th Infantry might help, too. Alright. Half Track helps us on Tempo, which we are very hurting on. Infantry Regiment's not bad. JU-82 or 87B2, not bad, but I'm going to take these half tracks because we're going to need the tempo. Alright, some howitzers, so that gives us some low drops, we'll take those. Ooh, Tiger 1E is so hard for a lot of decks to deal with, so we're going to take that. That's Alright, we got two really strong finishers. Alright, I think we're really in the market for some 2As. Wildcat, we're just so heavy on 3 already. So we're in the market for some 2 A's. Alright, Death From Above, always solid. Zippo's okay, M4A1's okay, but we'll take these Death From Above's. Alright, 
gunship mission or a howitzer? Well, we kind of already have two gunship missions, so let's take another howitzer. Ooh, and another Hellcat. Uh, or do we go to Priest? I think we got plenty of artillery at this point. We really like a Greyhound, that's what we want to see. Let's take the Hellcat. Alright, the Falschmere Jaeger might work here too, because we can make it a nice, big, fat, juicy unit. So let's make a Falschmere Jaeger. Alright, and I think we're in the market for another B-17. Sure. Oh, and we have one more card. Great. <laughs> Super Fortress looks fun. Um, double the attack and defense of your units. Do we really need that? Eh, I don't think so. Can't be targeted by the enemy orders. Draw this unit from the It makes you discard. Alright, we'll take it at M4A1. Alright, well, it's got the classic curve. Very classic curve. So let's see. It was like the Coca Cola deck. Man, that's what we'll call it. Coca Cola Classic here. Alright, let's try it. Sorry, I'm texting Mrs. Podcast. Um, we'll throw a pack back. We'll throw a howitzer back. I mean, yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, this is like the ideal opener for this deck. Oh, and our opponent has no first turn play. Even better. We have so many T19s, we're okay running one into like a countermeasure of some kind. M16 gives us our uh, tempo back, hopefully. Right, Colonial Dreams. Okay, well, we draw two cards then. I, I kind of like Colonial Dreams though in like a resistance deck. I wonder what that would do. That might be a cool thing to check out. Alright, well, we'll drop a howitzer. I mean, now we got two, three, four, movement, all the kinds of goodies. So, yeah, we got all kinds of stuff we're ready to do. All right, let's get a pack 38 going. I mean, our, po our opponent kind of backfired there with uh, their colonial dreams. I mean, if we lose this howitzer, then we lose the howitzer. Whatever. Happily trade. All right, well, in this case, since this pack 38 has uh, ambush, we're going to give it an extra power in the front line. And let's see if our opponent can uh, react to that. Again, still got our tempo, tempo, Osaka regiment. Okay, well, we'd love to see a death from above off the top. Okay, so we're just kind of slapping our opponent around. Bit, but you never know. They might have uh, some big time stuff here. Okay, M16 coming down soon. Or maybe even a Panzer next turn to give us a tempo boost. Oh, uh, here I think we just go M16. Put the Osaka back in our opponent's hand. Attack. And let's drop a Falschmir Jaeger here. We have plus three, plus three. Yeah, that'll work. Osaka back. And now we panzer that back to our opponent's hand. And we move our Falschmir Jaeger up. So we're really tempoing our opponent out of this one. Just working our way towards our big fella here. All right, naval operation slows us down. I mean, next turn maybe 
just drop the tiger. <laughs> or two seventh regiments. All right, I think instead we'll go Sherman. Draw an extra card. We're Henschel to the front line. Let's drop another pack 38 in behind. Pass it back to our opponent. I mean, our opponent's got to deal with some stuff here. Happily trade there. All right, so we lose our pack 38, but it gave us such an advantage. We're okay with that. Akita, sure. All right, we absorb Akita. And a chi he huh? All right, so join up for deal damage to target enemy equal to one plus number of enemy or number of unit types you control. Well, we control one, two, three. Control three right now. Can we get a fourth out there? Um, well, I think what we do, take the front line, oh, counted wrong, let's get a, let's get a tiger out there, see if our opponent can recover from a tiger out there, this joint operations can pick something off in a little bit. Okay, trade, infantry regiment, sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. How do we want to do this? Let's dump on Fiat. on the Osakas because this tiger can shrug off a lot of stuff. Oro. And a Tora Tora Tora. Alright. Opponent's getting there. Eh. The tiger's just way too much for opponent to deal with. Alright. Good start, good start. Tiger was, uh, oh, that's a lot. That, that, that tiger is a lot to deal with. All right, on to the next one. All right, up against cards player. Hmm. I wonder who cards player could be. Um, let's throw the pack back. Throw the seventh reg back, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. All the T-19s. Okay. All right, they had no turn one play. All right, well, we'll drop a howitzer out there. Sure. This deck would love a, a Greyhound, actually, I think. All right. Oh, can't play that one. Let's just play another howitzer. See if our opponent can deal with a howitzer parade we're going to put on. Because then we can also drop a panzer and take the front line. Oh, Imperial, ooh, Imperial Claw, Eagle's Claws. Yikes, that was nasty. That was nasty. All right, well, we have an M4. A1 to follow up with. Can't be targeted. All right, Panther A. Hmm. Well, let's just dump on that Panther A. Panzer of our own. Cards player. He seems pretty good. Hmm. Question mark. Who could cards player be? Hmm. Hmm. And a careless talk. Well, we survive a careless talk. All right. Hmm. Another Eagle's Claws, that's not very nice. Alright, see if I can attack with their hind. Alright, what do you got? 
their hind. Okay, they do attack with it. back in their hand. I know it has blitz, but it chooses their whole turn if they want to play it again. Another hind. Coming in hot. Okay. Get rid of hind. Let's hit that HQ for six. Alright, so... We have the big fella waiting in the wings. We also have a Hellcat that they don't necessarily know about. Another Hind. Okay, Imperial Order, fine. Another Hellcat. Okay, good. Let's go Hellcat. Hit that HQ and hit that HQ again. Let's drop a howitzer just to keep the pressure on our opponent. I mean, if we lose this howitzer, sometimes you gotta lose battles to win wars. Joint operation, that's fine. Got a little, got a little buddy here. Reinforcements is fine. So our opponent doesn't know this other M18 is coming. cards player question mark who could cards player be I don't think I've ever beaten cards player before though I think I have a long history of losing to cards player and I just wonder who cards player could possibly be cards players seem like they knew what they were doing though I will say cards players seem pretty experienced with the game Well, in my victory over cards player, I'm going to have a Breckenridge Brewery Vanilla Porter, which is one of my favorite beers ever. I hope that Breckenridge wasn't bought by Coors, though, because it's from Colorado, and I think Coors bought a lot of the breweries out there, but I don't know. All right, um, I'm going to dump this howitzer. Playing as a Japanese player. Okay, good. And yeah, Enigma might help here. to see that. Alright. Well, I think we just dropped the Dauntless. If they want to keep pinning the Dauntless, then they can go ahead and do that. Oh, Amphibious Assault. Wow. Opponent's got quite the... Alright. So they gotta keep pinning their Dauntless with this uh, Type 88. Another Type 88, yikes. Ooh, and a 4 Prosperity, that's not good. Alright, let's see if we can blow up one of those Type 88s. We do. Okay, so this Dauntless is going down eventually. I wonder if they move it to the front line. That'd be great. Eh, don't do that. That's not nice. And a cake. Man, they got all the answers for what we're trying to do. Hmm. Let's go 7th Regiment and a Howitzer. I don't know. I don't know if we have what it takes to beat this deck off the start that they've gotten here. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Alright, down goes Dauntless number 2. First Marines. Yuck. All right, well, another death from above. Let's see what we get. All right, get those first Marines. That's good. All right, let's draw a card. Okay, let's hit this 88. Pass it back. This one's going to be tough for us. Ooh, and a, a freaking Avenger, too. Yikes. Drop some more artillery down here. 
and see if we can figure this thing out. Ooh, another four prosperity. Yuck. Get an air superiority. Yeah, our opponent's got exactly what they need to beat us with this deck. I don't even, I'm not even gonna bother. I ain't gonna bother with that one. Opponent had us dead to rights with those two Type 88s right off the rip. Oof. Yep, opponent had uh, pretty much the perfect deck to counter ours. So, oh well, that happens. It happens sometimes. Sometimes you, you you just run into the opponent that just has got it all, and you don't draw your you don't draw your Hellcats that you need. And ah well, on to the next one. All right, we're up against has got. Okay. Um, well, they are on a German deck, so we'll, we'll hang on to the Awoken Giant. Uh, Awoken Giant sometimes isn't the best against the Germans, though. It's much more a Japanese focus card, I think. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. Mm, I'm worried. You never know. Think positive. Think positive. Think nasty. Think nasty. All right. Okay. Well, now we can go Howitzer on turn two. We're happy with that. Now we go pack thirty-eight or attack with our Howitzer. Okay. We'll see. We kind of got a weird deck here, like an uh, American German artillery deck. That's a little weird, I think. All right, well, let's hit up the this first Panzer. I'll drop another Howitzer down. Let's see what happens. I mean, I don't, know. I don't know if this is good. I don't know if it'll work. Cromwell. Okay. Well, let's take out the Howitzer or the Panzer. Of a pack 38. So hopefully we can just take out this Cromwell with a death from above. It's a Cromwell's deal though, doesn't it get better? Just one attack when a pinned enemy is destroyed. Okay, we don't really care about that. Okay, well, let's just drop some bombs on it. And I might as well attack the opponent's HQ. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see what we'll see what happens here. All right, Panzer two E or three E and a sudden strike. Sure. Okay. Well, let's. Uh, how are we gonna do this? Uh. All right. Let's go with another pack thirty eight out there. I guess. And let's just hit the opponent's HQ. This is only doing two damage right now, so we're gonna pass for now. Because our pack 38s can deal with this Panzer, because we deal triple damage to tanks, right? So we'll lose one, but we crack back with the other. Maybe we drop this Howitzer soon too. All right. Oh, well, I guess not. Okay, so we drew our M4 though, because our opponent that made us our opponent made us discard there, so that's good. <sighs> okay, we're gonna move one howitzer to the front line. We're gonna draw a card. Then we're gonna use his joint operations on this Panzer to deal three damage to it. So now our pack 38 can hold the front line for us. And then next turn, maybe we go B25 into a gunship mission. 
Alright, another Panzer. I mean, we'll, we'll whack on these Panzers good. We don't mind. Okay, well. Hmm, similar situation here. Let's just drop one Panzer. Front line with a Sherman. Drop another Sherman. Alright, now we essentially have our opponent in a very similar position to where they were. And we got rid of a Panzer 3J, which is always good. Those things can attack out of nowhere. Hmm. I love the vanilla porter. Breckenridge Brewery. Breckenridge, I'm not, you guys don't even sponsor this video, but I love your vanilla porter. I hope you guys are still independent. Or you're not a Coors affiliate of some kind, because, man, that's a good porter. Alright, our opponent is in the tank here a little bit. Alright, so I'm thinking of going B25 in... Alright, well, didn't make much of a difference which way you played that one, but okay. Now, now I'm thinking Dauntless... In the six pounder, sure. Okay. Alright, well, let's just take out the six pounder and drop an El Tigarino. See if you can drop, deal with El Tigarino. It's fine. 110, sure. And a 22nd, okay. And another six pounder, okay. Alright. Opponent's got a plan here at least. Alright, we gotta take out the six pounder. Then we gotta take out the stupid infantry. Then we're gonna drop the B25. And we're gonna snipe the 22nd with our now, if we lose this B-25, okay. We have the card advantage on our opponent. They're not beefing up their 110. We have El Tiger out there. Alright, 2C, sure. Alright, so we lose our bomber. We knew that was probably coming, though. Alright, Flame Panzer and a Pioneer Battalion. Okay. Alright, well, let's get up here and let's do some stuff. First, let's take out the 2C. Let's take out the 110. Drop another Panzer. Move that to the front line. Let's get another Howitzer going. So opponent, mostly I'm just trying to whittle our opponent's hand down to nothing so they have like nothing to work against us here. And we're chewing up attacks from Flame Panzers, so that's fine. Reinforcements, okay. Or 35, sure. Alright, opponent's seen enough. El Tigerino, yeah, he was dominating the battlefield. Alright, so we get uh, some gold from our play in there, and this, like, kind of like artillery heavy deck seems to be doing its thing. Coca Cola Classic with the uh, curve, so, sure. Like I said, I'm working on some uh, resources, so hopefully we can uh, do the uh, constructed thing again, because I think people like that, so. Alright, a 
up against Tuma. It's not a Tuma. I'm sure that was what Tuma was thinking with their name. Ugh, maybe we'll want to hang out that pack, but whatever. Okay. Well, we get to find no plays from our opponent. All right, we get to lead with our howitzer. Great. Okay, well, let's just drop a Dauntless, because that can cause our opponent, sorry, hopefully cause our opponent some problems. All right, they have a Baluk, sure. All right, they can put the Baluk back in their hand, give us some tempo. And now we can use the half track to take the front line and hopefully start getting our Sherman going. Also, this Enigma is looking really good right now. Okay. Um, let's take the front line. Let's... Let's drop our... No, drop our Henschel. Yeah, let's just draw a card. We're gonna lose our bomber. Frustrating, but if that chews up our opponent's attack... We're still ahead on board. Baluk's back, fine. Alright, and we get a bombing run anyway, so we can take this out next turn. Let's see, we have... So we can do three damage with our joint operations. Yeah, we can do four damage with it. If we go Marine Regiment, and we joint operations the Typhoon, Let's take the front line. There we go. Alright, so we took out a, a really good card from our opponent there. Alright, Comet. Yee. Okay. <laughs> Let's start with a. Let's move to the front line. Let's drop a B25. Because now our opponent has to really hammer through our front line. And we just got this enigma in our pocket here. Right, Night Raid, sure. Desert Rats, sure. Opponent can't move that com Okay, Desert Rats to pin our stuff. Okay. Alright. Well, let's go with a gunship raid on the commandos. Get rid of those jerks. Let's go with a henschel to beef up our front line. Now let's go with Enigma. Let's draw a little bit. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll take that. Make our opponent come to us. We got a bomber and an artillery piece online. Alright, another desert rat. So we're chewing up all the desert rats of our opponent's deck. Naval power, okay. Get some damage in, get some more damage in. Okay. Airborne, sure. Another airborne. Oof, that could be trouble. Alright. Let's move this Henschel to the front line. Take out the Baluks. Let's go with a Dauntless and a M4A1. Pass it back. That Enigma might have done it for us because we did a lot of work with that Enigma. Drawing four is pretty good. All right, Albacore. Sherman standing tough though in that front line. Death row above gets the Sherman. Alright, so our opponent kind of two for one them well, one and a half for one themselves there. Cause now let's see. We have a fighter to defend us with. So here, I think we take out the comet. We take out the bomber and then let's just get like 
a pack 38 going. We can drop El Tigerino when we need them. We can bomb these airborns if we need it. Alright. Opponent getting a little tempo back. Okay. Alright, let's get our tiger out there. And let's hit um, this lightning. We have our Awoken Giant waiting in the wings. We're not afraid of these Airborns yet. They're starting to get into the scary zone, though. Alright, blockade. Yeah, okay. Oh, made our, made our fighter worse, but okay. Alright, Hellcats, okay. Hmm, alright, let's get take out the Lukes. Let's take out the lightning. Let's drop a dauntless. And let's hit these guys. All right, these airborns are getting scary. More balooks. All right, airborns are moving though. Naval power from our opponent, sure. Alright, let's draw a card. Ooh, there we go. Alright, big boy. Do you want him to do his thing? Eh, not really. Not yet. Alright, put the airborne one of them back, blow up the other one, and whack the one we just made retreat. And now, if they move this forward, we can artillery or bomb it. Spitfire is fine. Okay. So we artillery, then we bomb. Then we shoot the balooks. And then we will happily trade off this tiger that's done its job now we got our opponent in top deck mode we have a full grip plus three on the battlefield it's fine get rid of the resistance pack 38 is fine blow up the resistance get him for two drop a regiment or two get him for five our opponents down to top deck mode. We got all the cards we need. Alright, get rid of a resistance. Lose another pack 38. Get in for five. Bomb the jerks. Move to the front line. Now let's drop uh, another Panzer. Panzer 2A. Oh, we moved our artillery by mistake. That's fine. All right, it's not a tumor. Sorry, it's not a tumor. It's a tumor. All right, this uh, German-American like artillery bombery deck is rolling. We'll take it. Play another one. That tiger, though. That tiger's a real key to this deck. Hello there. All right. Well, up against the uh, Z Ugh. Z Olg Z -olg. All right, Hellcat, we're going to wait on First Marines. We're going to wait on them. All right, these work. Give me a Panzer. Start with that. We're up against a Soviet player, too, so... Eesh. We'll see. All right, reserves from our opponent. Sure. Give us an opportunity to get our howitzer down, though. So hopefully no uh, 
enemy spotted or, or as an enemy spotted or from the people. That's what I'm thinking of. And this little panzer can handle a bunch of infantry too. All right. Now well, let's start hitting this jerk. I don't want to trade, so. I mean, our opponent has a bunch of two light infantry in hand. If they want to take the front line, we'll happily draw a card. Hopefully they do. Night Witches. Ooh. And they get to put a Night Witches back in their deck, don't they? Oof. Okay. Alright, let's get Dauntless down. Take out the Ambush unit. Because Dauntless can shrug off the PO2s. SU whatever. Okay. Alright, let's take out the SU. Take out the infantry. Okay. So that was or a Zeke. What does Zeke do? Okay, that doesn't matter. Can we take out Zeke? Um, no, we really can't. Okay, so they did get our Panzer. Okay. Hmm. Volschmir Jaeger would be nice and big. Can I take Zeke out? No, I can't. Alright, P25 doesn't do the job either yet. Alright, I think we whack Zeke. Drop our full schmear Jaeger. We want to attack? Can out? No, because we trade, right? Alright, let's get rid of Zeke. Because we got another uh, Dauntless on the way. And Zeke's a pretty good card, so whenever you take out a special with something less than a special, you gotta do it. Alright. Okay. Alright, let's, um, hmm, three, four, five. Alright. Um, hmm. Let's take the front line. Can we do two damage to that stupid thing? Um, let's drop our howitzer, see what happens. Alright, let's take out a bomber at least. Okay, we're going to lose our Falschmir Jaeger here. But that's fine. If they take out an SU, that's good stuff. Happy with that. Ooh, gunboat raid. Okay. Alright, they can take out our howitzer, or the uh, T-19 too, but they're down to one credit then. Okay, fine. Totally fine. Alright, take out the SU. And our Hellcat can bounce the bomber. And that's fine. Because we have, now we have Tempo in hand, we have Removal Order in hand, we have another Bomber in hand, we have another Removal Order in hand, and this thing just chews, this M18 just chews up tanks. Totally fine. Bloody Sickle, okay. Better to get up out of our opponent's hand. Ooh, rifles, okay. Okay, good. Let's put uh, rifles back in our opponent's hand. Hit 
the T-34, hit their HQ, and drop a Dauntless dive bomber. Are these dive bombers or is it torpedo bombers? SBD-3 Dauntless. Those are the dive bombers, I think. Pretty sure. Alright, now if our Hellcat trades... Ancient Empire. Alright, Hellcat should still trade though. Yep. Okay, good. And we need another Hellcat, so that's great. Okay, let's go with the V25. Drop the anti air gun. Take the front line. And enemy gives it up. Alright. All right, five wins. This artillery silliness getting us through. Okay, see if we can pick up two more. Get that seven wins. Just checking my phone and looking at stuff while we're waiting for another game. What do you guys think about Baby Yoda? I love Baby Yoda. I think he's hilarious. I also think he's kind of like cheating, like like screenwriting cheating. But um, I have no problem with him being screenwriting cheating. He's just, he's hilarious. I love Baby Yoda. The baby. Baby Yoda. All right, let's see what our opponent's got. We can drop a Panzer II here and hopefully get our Sherman or our First Marines going. I love Baby Yoda. I think he's hilarious. If he wasn't so hilarious, then uh, I wouldn't know what to do, because he's so hilarious. All right, there, you Fuxia. Or you Fai. Oh, can't say that. Otherwise, not friendly for kids. I love Baby Yoda. I wish I was Baby Yoda, because then I, uh, you know, I could just be a baby again. Being a baby is great. All right, what you got there, op, a pordant. Okay, we really want to see a howitzer off the top. We got four of them, so we got a, like a better than like one on nine chance or so. Okay. Great, we weren't going to do anything anyway. Unless we got a, I mean, we just would have deployed a T-19 there, but, like, we missed on our one out of nine, so, whatevs. Alright, infantry regiment. Okay. Um, let's just get our first marines out there. you guys got. Oh, sorry. That was a mistake. Okay. It's not very nice. To threaten people, you know. Uh, right now I'm thinking we're going to go Awoken Giant into an attack, but we'll see what happens. Alright, Combat Engineer, sure. Still going to do that. And then we'll use our B-25 to take out these engineers eventually. Oh, shoot, I should have done that the other way around. Well, we missed on the draw, because I'm an idiot. Dummy. What a dummy. I should have attacked and then used the Awoken Giant. That was stupid. Ooh. 
Ooh, Marine Regiment, you say, eh? Alright, let's get our Corsair going. I'm gonna use this Panzer to put the Marines back. Like, we gotta kinda tempo our opponent out of this one, I think. Oof, could use an extra card at this point. Ugh. So we're going to have to deal with a giant marine regiment. Supply shipment, eh? Alright, well we have death from abovs and stuff, though. Okay, let's, um... Yeah, let's move those jerks back. Shoot. Oh, that, that card draw might be the end of us here. Ah, oh, it's so blue. I so blew it on that one. Ugh. Ugh. I so blew it. Oh no. I'm kicking myself in the hiney here. And a Sherman. Take out the Sherman. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's grab a gunship mission. If our opponent wants to attack our bomber, we're fine with that. I mean, they should probably whack in at our HQ, but hopefully they don't. Hopefully they attack one of our things here. Ugh, that card draw is killing me. We could be one card deeper. Mm -hmm. Or we can we could peel a B-17. And we're not in B-17 territory though. Oh great, we'll take five, five damage off of this thing. Sure. Because now we'll go bomb it, shoot it, and then but gunship mission the engineers. Alright. Pioneer Battalion. Okay. Oh, and they joined Operation Air Corsair. Okay, that sucks. That sucks. Alright, opponent had it on the back there a little bit. Alright, let's get rid of these engineers. Uh, let's bomb... Bomb these guys just to get some damage in on them. Alright, let's drop a, an M4A1. Sorry, my hand in front of my face there. All right, so we're going to lose our B-25, but we got rid of the engineers, which was the real problem. Pioneer Battalion, I'm not that worried about. Because if, well, we're going to lose our bomb. you got to figure we're going to lose our bomber. Then we trade here, maybe get a, well, we can also draw a couple cards with our Enigma, which will be very good. So our opponent really has like five resources here because they have to attack our bomber. Come on, no Shermans, no silly. Or, or go after HQ. Oh, great. I mean, question mark, great. Hummel. They don't have an artillery unit out there, or uh, armor unit out there. Okay, let's get rid of that nine power monster. Let's get rid of these jerks. And let's drop a uh, thunderbolt, question mark. Nah, let's go with a Sherman. Draw one. Because a Hummel just doesn't do enough damage without getting the uh, tempo boost.
great. We get to keep our bomber there. That was fantastic. Alright. We got there, opponent. <laughs> All right, Annihilation. Ooh, got rid of our Thunderbolt. We kind of wanted that. But we still have our Enigma, which we might use next turn. All right, they hit our M4. Sure. Oh, okay. Great. That's all you got. Drop another M4, or drop another Sherman. Take out the Hummel. And let's just put this other M4 in the front line. All right, question mark. We got opponent. I mean, we got good stuff. Oh, what? Our opponent has 10 credits and didn't play anything out of their hand. Is that, like, the surrender flag? I'm just gonna drop a howitzer in behind. I mean, maybe that was, maybe that was surrender flag there. Maybe they... Okay, it looks like it was. All right, so looks like we pounced on our opponent's mistake there to not take out our bomber which they had to do later on, and that uh, gave us what we needed to get across the finish line. All right, see if we can get seven wins. That'd be pretty great with this artillery-ish Happy New Year deck, sure. And then we'll hopefully be able to have enough resources to do some constructed videos um, Maybe either later today or tomorrow, or later this week. Don't know. All right, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, sorry about that. All right, battle it up, battle it up. Let's see if we can get the seven wins. Because if we can get these seven wins, hopefully we'll have enough resources to build what I need. Because I need the engineers, I need, a, I need my T-80s, I need... Yeah, those are the main two that I need. Engineers and T-80s. For what I'm thinking about cooking up. Alright. Nah, I don't think we want any of these. Ugh, not the best opener. 
All right, well, okay, got better there with a good top deck. All right, Stug, okay. Drop our howitzer, it survives the Stug attack. It's totally fine. And we're up against Hidonge. Hidonge. I don't think it's supposed to be Hidonge, but. All right, blow up the Stug. Shoot the Alpini. Got a good boost out of that. All right, Panzer Grenadier, sure. All right, put the Panzer Grenadier back in our opponent's hand. Shoot the Alpini. Keep the tempo. All right. hmm. New Panzer Grenadier, eh? All right. Um. Okay, so switch off a Dauntless down. Ooh, a careless talk. Well played, opponent. No, 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 no! Oh. I didn't want to move that to the front line. That's bugtastic. All right, well, might as well move our half track up there, too. Hmm. <laughs> All right, the... Careless talk, I don't mind. That's just a good play by our opponent. The moving to the front line, though, that's not cool. Alright, well, we have things to come back with, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Alright, and a 110, eh? Alright, let's put the 110 back in our opponent's hand. Alright, this game just got a lot more interesting. 110 is back. Stug is back. Okay. Let's take out the 110. Let's drop a pack 38 in behind. front line, sure. Ooh, a Faka Wolf. Yikes. Alright, well, I think we're fine blowing up either of these units. We get the Faka Wolf, good. Alright, hit the Panzer Grenadier, drop another pack 38. Alright, hit our HQ. Still got eight credits, too, so they can drop all kinds of silliness on us here. I mean, I don't think that T-19 move really ruins our day, but that M4A1, though, it's paid its, it's, it's, paid its dues. Because we've gotten to draw tons of cards off, or we've drawn two cards off of it. That's more than enough for a draft. All right, so move to the front line. Drop a Sherman. Let's drop a Henschel make our ambush unit that much more dangerous. Alright, Leopold, eh? Oof. Do we have anything that can kill Leopold in one go? I think we drop B25. And we drop an M8. Because both of them can attack a Leopold. We lose one, but they both have deployment abilities too, so they've kind of already made their money. Alright, we'll see. We'll see if we can, if we can get through a Leopold. Leopold's very good in draft. It can be back-breaking, but... Our opponent played it early, like in an emergency situation almost, so we like that. 
Hopefully they don't have like a tiger or something to follow up with. All right, Enigma. They do draw a bunch. You know, Leopold into Enigma. That's a good play. All right, Panzer Grenadier. Don't really care that much. All right, and a one and a SD. SD KFZ 222. Sure, don't care. All right, let's get rid of Leopold. That's priority number one. Get some. Uh, we don't need a pack. Can we go with a uh, seventh reg and then a Falschmir Jaeger? Alright, so figure our opponent's coming for. Oh, well, I guess only a plus one, plus one. I should have played a Sherman or something. Oh well. Too late now. So we can chew through what our opponent has on the front line right here. Blitzkrieg, huh? Okay, so we take 11 damage. But our crackback takes everything out. And we grab the front line. Okay, so they're going after our HQ. Schmier Jaeger of their own. Okay. Right, let's take out the artillery, or take out the Panzer Grenadier. Take out the SD. Let's see here. Let's go T19 and M4A1. Because those can rumble with what our opponent has out there right now. Another Focke Wolf would be a problem. Alright, so we lose our False Mirror but we save some damage. That's good. And a Volk's Grenadier. Okay, we don't care about that. Alright, get rid of these False Mirror Um, hit the Hummel, hit the tougher unit. Alright, what do we have for the most damage on the- okay, let's take the front line, drop a Sherman, draw a card, gives us more beef, gets us through our deck a little bit, figure we're going to lose our M4A1, but that's okay. Alright, a Junkers, yep. So that's probably gonna dive bomb this this guy. But our artillery stays in place. I mean, they gotta use that dive bombing on this M4, right? Unless they're thinking about neutering one of our artillery pieces. Or they can hit it with a Hummel, that also works. Alright, so they're going after our howitzer. And they dive bomb our howitzer, okay. And they attack our M4. Okay, yeah, well, that, I mean, that all makes sense. That's pretty good. <sighs> okay. Alright, so let's get our Corsair out there. Take out the Volk's Grenadier. Whew, this is tough. I guess no, they can't hit our HQ for everything here. Alright, um, we have a 
much. We have a bunch of pack 38s. Alright, let's get a regiment down. Might as well attack that and just whack on it pretty good. Because they do 6 damage to our HQ, but we survive. Plus they have a blitz tank, which if they do, then they do. Another Hummel. Draw a card for each minor ally unit you control. Well, that'd be zero then. Okay, I don't know if our opponent... I'm not sure what their, their deal was on that one. Alright, let's take out the healthier Hummel. Blow up whatever the other one is. Oh, nuts. That sucks. Oh, no. We get to stay in the game here. Whoo, what a top deck. What a top deck. That top deck might have saved us right there. Because otherwise our opponent kills us on the crack back there. We were kind of flipping a coin there at the end. Ooh, wow. Alright, let's take out one Alpini, two Alpini, hit our eight opponents HQ, drop another seventh reg, drop a pack 38. Wow. The one card in our deck that got us out of that. Wowee. Yeah, we're gonna have to do some trading here. We are right on the brink of disaster. Oh, we never got to play any of our B-17s. Our opponent, if they have any one, like, an air blitz, anything, we lose. Neville Warfer. Can't hit our HQ, that's good. Okay, um, oh, we might as well just damage our opponent's HQ and gain some hit points. Whew! Henschel, get down there. Yeah, let's just drop another unit in the front line. Just to protect ourselves. And, oh, the tiger. Tiger, you're too late, my friend. Whew. Wow. That top deck saved us. Completely, completely saved us right there. Man. Well, sometimes it's better be lucky than good. Sometimes better be lucky than good. All right, get our rewards. So, 22 gold a pack. We get some resources from this. I think we'll be able to uh, do our thing. We'll open our pack here. And uh, there we go. And these, yeah, okay, good. So now we can start crafting some more cards. And then hopefully we can... Uh, See you guys in the next one with a constructed video. I hope. We'll see. Thanks for hanging out. Whew, what a top deck.